What's up, my name is Tegnobo here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another quick video. In this video, I'll show you how to add launch options to games that you get through the Xbox Game Pass in the Xbox app. Of course, as you know, opening up this program over here, there aren't really any options that you can use here or change to actually launch the game with any arguments or any launch options. How do we do it? Well, we need to navigate across to where the game is installed, which for most people will be in C, Program Files, all the way at the bottom as Windows Apps. Note that you'll need to head across to the View tab and make sure Hidden Items is checked. If you try and open up this folder and instead you see a prompt saying Continue and clicking Continue doesn't let you see all the files here, you'll need to head into the description down below to download a zip file called Take Ownership. When you've done so, you can open it up and inside of it you'll have a folder. In Z folder is Add and Remove Ownership. So I'll double click Add Take Ownership, click Run, Yes when prompted for Admin and then Yes once again here. After doing so, when we head across to the Windows Apps folder at the bottom here, right click, this time you'll see a new option called Take Ownership. When you click this, a black window will pop up and it'll run through a couple thousand files depending on how many games you have installed here. Regardless, when it's done, you should be able to open up the folder and you'll see a bunch of folders inside of it. Now, usually you'll have to look for either the publisher dot followed by something else or the developer's name dot followed by something else in order to find the game. It usually requires some intuition, such as Back for Blood was created by Turtle Rock Studios and published by Warner Brothers Interactive. Warner Bros. Interactive dot followed by a bunch of stuff is the Back for Blood folder, as you can see, backforblood.exe. Regardless, when you've found the game, open up the folder, then right-click whatever exe it is in here, and create shortcut. Upon doing so, you'll have a shortcut on your desktop, and unfortunately, it won't have an icon like the usual game shortcuts for something like Steam. That's fine. Right-click Properties, and inside of here, on the Shortcut tab, at the very end of Target, after the closing quotes, you can add hyphen, I don't know, something like full screen, no join, etc., etc., all of your launch options here. Upon Apply and OK, then running the shortcut here, all of the launch options will work in whatever game you want them to. However, note that running the game normally won't have anything extra changed in it. You need to launch it through a shortcut where you have that command written out. If you'd like to test multiple different things, you can just open up a command prompt window here by clicking at the top, CMD, then running something like the name of the game, in my case, Back for Blood, followed by No Joy or whatever commands you want in here to test them out before you make a permanent shortcut or a semi-permanent shortcut. Regardless, hopefully this video helped you get what you needed. Thank you all for watching, my name's been Techno Behavior Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!